got an 09 KX Ocho Cinco here and I've got to do the uh, fork seals among other things. Some leaky fork seals as you can see. I got one done drying out here. It's not done but it's drying out anyway. I'll run you through the process of how to do it on these wee little 36 mil forks. First things first, I didn't show it, but you always, while it's still in the bike, in the triple clamps, crack this big cap here, this nut. Uh, you don't want to hold it in a vise to do this, because these ones are actually pretty stuck on there. I think these haven't been apart since this bike was brand new. And if, for those of you wondering, a 30 millimeter socket fits on here. And uh, yeah, just crank this guy off or crack it loose to the point where you can spin it by hand while it's still in the bike, because you're going to be fighting uh, with it if you if you don't. So once it's out and we're at this stage here, I'm going to switch to GoPro mode here in a second, but I'm going to unthread this the rest of the way and then slide this outer fork tube, which is the gold part here, down, which will expose the spring and this damper rod here. And uh, I'll show you the next step after that. We're switching to GoPro mode. So with the cap already loose, loosen it off the rest of the way, slide the outer fork tube down and that will reveal a jam nut, a 17 millimeter jam nut. Just kind of slide the spring down, compress it, put a wrench on it, and then remove the uh, upper cap the rest of the way. Set it off to the side and don't lose this washer that's sitting right there. You can remove the spring, hang it up because this is going to be covered in oil, it's going to be dripping, and then uh, dump some oil out. I made this little block of wood kind of fork holder for my vise. It helps drain them. Then remove the dust seal. I'm just using a screwdriver to pry it up, work it up. And then this, there's a snap ring in there that holds the oil seal in. You just have to kind of pry it away and lift it up. And once that's removed, just use the fork tube as a slide hammer to remove the seal, the main oil seal, just like that. And you got to work the damper rod up and down at least 10 times just to get out the remaining oil. And then to get the seal, the oil seal and everything off the leg, you have to pry open this bushing. Don't lose the washer behind it. Set the bushing and washer off to the side. The oil seal will come off, the snap ring will come off, and the dust seal will slide all the way down and off. Then you get your friend brake cleaner and you want to clean up the stuff really well guys. Any little debris stuck in there is going to affect and maybe re-screw up your fresh seals you've just put in. Uh, I cleaned out this side already with some brake cleaner and my bucket of jet. And uh, but yeah, want to get everything, all the old oil out and especially get the, the chrome clean on the lower fork tube and the uh, inside liner of this outer fork tube it needs to be spotless. So let's choke ourselves out here. Should be noted too, this is the following day, I let both sets of forks drain overnight just because I wanted to get all the remaining oil out of it. And I got a bullet here, 36 millimeter. You can use a Ziploc bag if you don't have a bullet, just to protect the inner lip of the oil seal mainly. I'm using Maxima 5 weight oil, lube the bullet up, top the seal slide on nice, starting with the dust seal, slide it down and all, to, all the way to the bottom, the snap ring and then the oil seal. This is the tight one. So you want to lube both the outer and inner lip. The outer will help you when you go to insert it and the inner lip to get it over the bullet. Don't forget the washer and one bushing and then the fitted bushing up here. Make sure that they're all installed in the correct order. Slide the outer tube down over top. And here's again where some kind of specialty tools helps. Uh, I've got an adjustable fork seal driver. So you slide the oil seal down as best you can by hand. And this is what my tool looks like here and with a two piece hammer. And it was pretty tight. It took uh, quite some time for me to, to drive it all the way down in there deep enough to get the snap ring to engage, but just be patient with it. I know you can use PVC pipe. There's there's many ways to skin a cat, but I just happen to have a adjustable fork seal driver. Once it's deep enough, make sure the snap ring seated all the way in its groove. Then you can slide the dust seal down and back on. Make sure it's seated all the way. Well, back inside the vise with it fully compressed. Kawasaki recommends 315 milliliters. So with my handy camera work, here I am pouring that 315 down in there. 
and it'll kind of purge itself. You'll see bubbles for a while. Just wait a little bit and then dump the rest. Then we got to purge the damper on. So they say you got to do that by cycling it up and down five times. So we temporarily reinstall the cap, lift it up slowly, and let it drop back down. Did it more than five times, and then they say with the once that's finished, you have to extend and compress the lower tube. Just make sure you don't extend it all the way because there's no upper cap on it right now and you could pull it right out. Then here's another kind of specialty tool which you don't really need for this job. There's other ways of doing it but this is a fork oil level uh, adjustment tool and in my case 100 millimeters is what the, the manual had said to set it to so I've just got that stopper set to 100 millimeters it's with the fork fully compressed and no spring installed. And in my case, I had to remove some oil. You might have to add some. It's just dependent on uh, how, how you did. Then with the fork oil level set properly, we're good to remove it. Re-extend the damper rod, reinstall the spring. And when you drop the spring, quickly grab the damper rod before it falls back into position because we need to pull it back up to put the upper cap back on. Once again, don't forget the washer, thread it back on, use your 17 mil to hold the jam nut, torque them down together, thread the upper cap back onto the outer fork tube. The final torque for that should be done within, with it installed in the bike, but that's it guys, that's all there is to it. Clean the fork up, cycle it a few times if you want, check for leaks. But uh, yeah, that's it. Reinstall back in the bike and uh, go beat the snot out of it.